Your Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, good evening. Now we are going to discuss and adopt the outcome document of this interministerial conference, which is called Tunis Commitments. The purpose of having this outcome document is to present the perspectives, the policies, the attitude, standards, and the commitments to further implement the ICPD program action and the SDGs. This is a, is a spe very special year. So this ministerial conference is not just another conference. It is a very special one. So this year is the 25th anniversary of ICPD. I'm the person to attend the ICPD. The scenery still I remember very vividly. And also it is 20, 25th anniversary of ICPD. And also it is on the occasion of second UN High Level Conference on South-South Cooperation, which was held in Argentina last March. First of all, I'd like to express our sincere thanks to the Secretariat, led by Mr. Adnan, for their very hard work for drafting, developing this outcome document. And also, I especially thank for your patience, because this process was started two months ago. And the first draft was presented at the PCC meeting in Taita. After that, actually, we keep revise this document. It's going on and on. Our secretary are very patient with us. So they'll never lose their temper. <coughs> and after Taita meeting, had some PCC meeting, and uh, 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 many revisions was made. And then the draft was circulated among the uh, member, state, member countries. On the first day of our arrival, we had a PCC meeting. We had another round of introduction. And uh, yesterday, we started our informal consultation, sentence by sentence, of this draft document. And this morning, we circulate uh, the draft, both in English and uh, French languages, to all the delegates. I should say that the French translation is not very accurate, or it was some mistakes. But don't worry. We will have a very professional French version, because our ED is an expert in French language. So, uh, I'd like to also extend my sincere thanks to my colleagues in the drafting committee. They worked very efficiently. I, I, I really wish that uh, in the future, the, the, the UN body, when we have the UN meetings, and uh, the, the negotiation could be as effective uh, as, as we had yesterday. I'd like to uh, especially thank uh, Mr. Bobby Allard, the senior advisor uh, of inter-country cooperation of UNFA headquarters, and uh, Dr. Sandro Fanny Ren, the head of UN System Unit of Ministry of Budget and National Planning of Nigeria. Uh, and also Mr. Dr. Clifford, I don't know what I pronounce it, correct. Clifford Zira, Zira, the president of National Population Commission, Nigeria. And my old friend, Mr. Charles Obisi, Osibi, the deputy director of communication, National Population and Development Council of Kenya. Mr. Long Kwan Tang, I don't know pronunciation correct or not, Deputy Director of Personnel of Vietnam General Office for Population and uh, Fan Planning. So thank you all for your great efforts. And also I'd like to send all the 
PCCs and also delegates for their comments, valuable comments and the input you made during the last two months. Now I'd like to propose that uh, we review this draft, paragraph by paragraph. I'm not going to read uh, this uh, draft sentence by sentence because we are all very familiar with that. So uh, can we start with the title, please? Okay, there's no, no. The title. Okay, we got it. So the title is uh, Tunis Commitments. So this is in line with the, 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 the uh, Nairobi Summit and also uh, in line with the, the second UN conference on, uh, on South-South cooperation. Now the, 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 the first paragraph, please. The first paragraph is to introduce the background to tell the reader when, where, who, for what. Uh, I think this is a general format we are following. The second paragraph tells that uh, this conference was held in a special occasion, that is two uh, uh, grand events. Next, next please. The third one is that uh, we review, we tell the reader the five subjects we discussed during this conference. And the last paragraph of the introduction part is to tell the interrelationship between SDG and the cooperation. And to tell the difference, uh, the linkage between South-South cooperation and ICPD and SDGs. So that's the introduction part. Altogether, there were three paragraphs. I don't think we have any questions here. This, the whole document divides into two parts. The first part is the preamble parts. This part is mainly acknowledge the achievements we made in the last 25 years especially achievements on South-South cooperation made by PPD and its member countries. And also, we recognize the unfinished agenda of ICPD. We re-emphasize the importance of South-South cooperation in achieving ICPD goals and SDGs. And also, we reconfirm the seven strategic priority areas we identified in Bali call for action during the Bali Interministerial Conference we held last year. So this is, this is all about the preamble part. Shall we go paragraph by paragraph? The first one. Yeah, here we are. So the first one is that uh, the first paragraph is to recognize the remarkable progress, especially on South-South cooperation by PPD and its member countries. The second paragraph is to recognize the importance of South-South cooperation in, achieve, in achieving ICPD goals and SDGs. The third paragraph is to acknowledge the importance of institutionalization of, for South-South cooperation. The fourth paragraph is to acknowledge the necessity of capacity building of national focal points and the focal persons. The fifth paragraph is to acknowledge the achievements of 16 ministerial conferences we held since the year 2004. The sixth paragraph, we acknowledge the great progress and achievements we made in human resource development. In fact, PBD and its member countries provide the largest training opportunities on South-South cooperation in the last 25 years. So we should be very proud of that. The seventh part is that to recognize 
ISPD program of action is still an unfinished agenda. The eighth uh, paragraph is to reconfirm the role of developing countries in supporting and promoting South-South cooperation. The eighth paragraph is to re recognize that South-South cooperation is not substitute, but rather a complement to North-South cooperation. The last one is that uh, reaffirm the seven priority areas for South-South cooperation. So I'll stop here. If any comments and inputs you want to make, or you get lost. If there are any comments, um, yeah. thank you very much. If there are any comments or any uh, misrepresentations or things that have been, there are ellipses. You can actually point it out as we go through the screen. Uh, he's given a quite a comprehensive listing of the various paragraphs and their main thematic points that each of the paragraphs are alluding to. So as you are the technical people and have been working on the document, mm -hmm. if you feel that this is not well represented, this is the time for you to put in something or to call the attention mm -hmm. of... Um, if it is language problem, for instance, here we miss a comma or that who should be used a uh, rather than the or should be double or single, that kind of things, we will, don't worry about that. We will invite a professional editor to, to do that kind of things. Yeah. So if there's some very important things we are missing or it is wrongly stated. But for this document, I should tell you that originally it is five and a half pages. Now it was reduced into three and a half pages. So our document right now is very slim. So, but we need to keep the essential elements here. So if now I will go to the second part, that is operational part of this outcome document, that is commitments. Comments, if there are no comments, then it passes through with all the other issues that are raised in terms of language, spellings, and all these isms and so on. So he can move, uh, raise another raise a hand there. A uh, mic, please. Is there any microphone? Mic, please. Mm -hmm. Is there any mic? Is there any mic? Mic, please. She's coming. Just turn back. She's, uh, she's coming. Mike is not speaking, please. Uh, is there any? Thank you. Um, I think, it, uh, I, I don't know where to place it, but I think uh, in the South-South countries, the speed of aging is fast, and, and because of the fertility declined, and uh, I'm not sure where we can look at how the the fertility decline affect the speed of aging in our area, and 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 because of that, uh, at at our social institution level, we are not quite ready for that because we have other population issues that are pressing on us. So I think we need to uh, we need to put one one phrase or something that we recognize the. Uh, the dub, uh, not the double, but because because for us it's youth and aging at the same time occurring and at lower resources. So I think uh, we need to put some phrase, but I don't know where to put it. It's about uh, the balancing of uh, fertility decline and speed of aging and all the other population issues that are concerned among us. So, but I, thank I, you. I think the are the note takers taking note of that. Yes, uh, they will be uh, taking note of it. So the concern is heard. Any other concern that is not uh, projected? That is, yes, that hand is behind. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Uh, my name is Ismail Ajayusi. 
um, from Gambia, National Population Commission Secretariat. Um, I was looking of um, going through the um, the um, the commitment paper, but I have not seen anything in relation to data availability on the various demographic indicator indicators. Okay, should I respond to the, these two issues yes, raised please, by our can. distinguished guests, mm -hmm. uh, distinguished delegates? Mm -hmm. And about, I'm glad that uh, you raised this issue about aging issue. Uh, in this document, there were three places we did mention this uh, aging issue. One is that uh, emerging issues, emerging population issues under the low fertility. This is mentioned in the first place. The second place we mentioned this is that uh, in the seven priority areas, yesterday some people said, no, it's not only healthy aging, but also healthy and active aging, as proposed by WHO, yeah, which, is, which I, I agree with. And the third one is that uh, in the commitments, we did should have a very, uh, 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 very quick response to this one. And in South South Corporation, actually, we in the last, especially in the last five years, we had a lot of seminars and workshops on this subject because this is a, a burning issue. And for some countries, it's maybe it's not the issue right now, but I, should, I can tell in the next five years, five or ten years, it will become an issue. Yeah. So the second one is that uh, uh, our uh, Nigeria uh, uh, colleagues mentioned about data issue. Yes. When you make policies, make decisions without scientific basis, without reliable data, you can, you, you can never make a correct decision. So the data issue is mentioned in the commitment parts of this outcome document. So we have some, we will take care of uh, this, this expert, which is a very important one. So any more comments Thank and you suggestions? Very much. Any other yeah. comments? So we, now we go to the second part of yes. this uh, uh, we are uh, document. We go to okay. the second part. If there is no other issue coming from the first part, so we move to the second part. Yeah. Thank you. So the second part, commit commitments, what we can commit. I will briefly introduce, go one by one. The first commitments we made, we are going to make is commit to take a lead among the developing countries in achieving population and reproductive health related subject goals of ICPD program of action and SDG by the year 2030. This is our first commitment. Our board member countries will take the lead. Second one is that uh, commit to integrate population dynamics into national development plans and programs. This is a long-standing issue, has not been solved, solved uh, ideally. The third one is that uh, commit to support initiatives for achieving three zeros. The fourth one is to commit to address emerging population issues. The fifth one is to commit increase the financial resources. The sixth one is to embody South South cooperation into specific population and reproductive health strategies and programs. And the PPD member countries commit to implement PPD strategic plan, which we adopted on the morning of today. The seventh one is the commit to enhance the capacity of national South-South cooperation task forces, particularly that of national South-South cooperation focal persons. The seventh, eighth one is to make more efforts in supporting and the development of more effective center of excellence. The ninth one is that to call upon UNFPA and other UN agencies and international organizations to further scale up their efforts in promoting South South and the Triangle Cooperation. The tenth one is the call upon government to invest more to meet needs of young people in, by scaling up programs for, for providing more opportunities in achieving population demographic dividend. 
The last one, we welcome the upcoming Nairobi summit of ISPD Plus 25. These are 11 commitments we're making. So I will stop here. So whether you have any comments and uh, much, suggestions. Um, he has made the second presentation, uh, the second part of the document. If there are issues that have not emerged from your discussions, this is the time to bring it up. Yes. Can you uh, make the... Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I'm seeking clarification on uh, commitment four. Commitment to make policies and actions to address emerging population issues, including data utilization, low fertility, and population aging, youth development for harnessing DD. How about um, the high fertility which is being faced by most of the African nations? And this is in line with harnessing the DD. And and uh, we would like also to see something about teenage pregnancy stand out. I think this is a, a problem for most African nations. So how can we address this too in this? Thank you. Any more comments and suggestions? Any more comments, please uh, come to the front. Yeah, I'm more concerned about uh, the commitment on financial resources. It's, it's, it's something that I suppose is critical, but I don't know how we are going to make a commitment on that because essentially nations depend on the limited budget they have. So if we are making a commitment about it, is it money that is going to be coming from somewhere or is it to encourage them to go into their resources and, and dig into it? And again, I want to find out the, uh, the, the commitment that will ensure that we do peer review because if, if you make commitments and Nobody asks from your uh, from another country, and nothing happens. We come back here, and it's the same thing. But if there's some peer review, it will be possible to come back and report and say that uh, between these two countries, this has done better. And then we can then be talking about um, sharing best practices. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Any other? Is there any other comment? Yes, she's the best one there. Maybe um, in the presentation yesterday, uh, there was an example of using technology to uh, assist in gender-based violence. And maybe we need to put some words of technology in the document, how technology will assist in achieving ICPD and also gender-based violence issues. So I'm, I'm not sure to be directly about gender-based, but putting some words about technology for population issues and things like that. Yeah. Just for consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other concern that is brought? If there is none, then I bring it back to you. Uh, like I said, let the note takers take note of these things. They are very quite pertinent uh, that will improve on the document. But we could hear from the presenter. Yes. And uh, I'd like to respond to three uh, issues raised by our distinguished delegates. The first one is that uh, you mentioned uh, low uh, emerging issues in you know, low fertility, but you did not mention the uh, high fertility. Right? So actually, the high fertility, addressing the high fertility issue, is the, our first priority. In the seven strategic priority areas, the meet unmet needs of infant planning and uh, to prevent preventable mortality, uh, maternal mortality death rate 
and also to uh, provide uh, uh, reproductive health. Uh, that kind of all the things listed in the seven priority areas was addressed, I think, in the first commitments. So this, but why we specifically mentioned the, the emerging population issue? Because this is some, something new. If we do not emphasize, people may be neglected. So that is the purpose we, we put it, uh, low fertility here. But uh, high fertility is our first priority. I think if we read the text, of this outcome topic, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will get uh, a, a clear understanding what, what is our real message, uh, our message is. The second issue is about finance issues. And uh, if you go to the Ministry of Finance, <laughs> you will see, always see a long faces there. <laughs> so this is very sensitive issue, but it is very critical issue. In Chinese, we have a saying, even smart wife cannot cook without rice. Without money, what can, what can we do? So in here, because you know, some points, originally we put more details here, but uh, some people said, well, that is it's too sensitive. So we choose just to use the general term to increase. That means from the present levels to the higher levels. We did not put the quantitative figures here. Otherwise, we'll go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or Ministry of Finance to review this document. So this is the second issue. The third issue is about the gender violence. Actually, this is a, originally our priority is seven priority areas. This is was in, uh, included in the Bali call for action. Instead of six, we put seven especially address the, 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 uh, uh, the, the gender viol violence issues. So I think this is uh, uh, sufficiently emphasized in this document. But the issue is that uh, when we translate these commitments into specific actions, we will need more efforts. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, you have heard about this very important document. Uh, we wish to thank uh, Mr. Rafa Rafla, Dr. Hu Hong Tao, for the presentation he has made on behalf of the this August body, and to reflect all the discussions that took place over the past few days, uh, culminating in such a, in an important document. He has presented it, and now I believe. Uh, it, has, it should be validated now, I believe. Do you agree with all the suggestions and all the, uh, yes, there is someone before the validation, yes? Before it is uh, finally, I finally. Want to validate. You want to? I want to validate. I want to move a motion you that the document be adopted, yes. Thank you very much. So now, Nigeria. yes, we are getting there. The document is already done and it has gone through a due diligence process which all of you are aware of and are part of, so that we, once it is validated, it becomes a document that we all adhere to and fulfill that commitment. So I am happy to say that Nigeria has moved it to be adopted. And uh, who is going to second it? Which other country? Uh, you can, yes? Gambia is seconding it, but I want to see a rousing applause to show there is a full commitment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh